Big news in the middleweight division as Kelvin Gastelum uh, is out of surgery, he's ready to come back, and he has accepted a fight with uh, Jack, uh, Jack Hermanson. Now, this is not a UFC fight offer, it has just been Hermanson campaigning uh, to face uh, Gastelum at the, in the main event of UFC Copenhagen, which is a solid main event and it's a perfect one for UFC's debut in Denmark. So on Twitter, Kelvin Gastelum writes, My timetable for my return in Saudi Octagon is November. No doubt about it. Jack with Joker, MMA, Jack Hermanson is the fight to make. So he's definitely down for facing Hermanson. But November, UFC's debut in Denmark is September 27th. So this means that unless he can speed up his return time, we're not going to see this fight as the main event at uh, UFC Copenhagen, which would be a big shame. Uh, I personally would love to see that fight. Um, but I do think that even if they have to find another fight to put as a main event at UFC Copenhagen, this is definitely the most logical matchup right now at middleweight. Uh, I mean, obviously we're going to have a unification bout now between uh, Whitaker and... Uh, Israel Adesanya, uh, Yoel Romero already fought twice for the title, didn't even make weight the second time. I would not be entirely surprised if he perhaps is considering light heavyweight, considering some of the weight cut issues. Um, but so yeah, you can't give Romero Rockhold, ranked at number three, he's moving to light heavyweight as well. And then we got number four, Gastelum, and number five, Helmansson. After that, we got Jacare Souza, Chris Weidman, Paulo Costa. Oh, that's right. Romero is booked to face Paulo Costa. So I guess the only... I mean, even if Romero wins in devastating fashion, I, you know, I can't see him getting a title shot after, after that. And if Costa wins... I could see people making the case. But A, I do not see him winning over Yo Romero. And two, I still think that that's not necessarily enough. Uh, I just feel that Gastelum and Halmanson, they, they're, they've done this a little bit more. There's a reason they're more highly ranked. And uh, yeah, I say those guys should face each other. If it is in, in November or, or if it's in the main event at UC Copenhagen, regardless, that is, you know, he couldn't be more right. That is the fight to make. Um, I would actually have Helmanson winning that fight, and it's it all comes down to pace, uh, pace here and movement, uh, because he's got that weird kind of in and out jumpy striking style, which does throw a lot of people off. Now, Gastelum obviously he's got a lot of power in his hands. We saw him knock out Michael Bisping, and if he connects properly with, uh, against Helmanson, he can definitely stop him early. But we know that. Uh, Gastelum has, you know, proper conditioning, but he does get tired. Uh, and I see Helmanson as having just a, you know, a slightly bigger gas tank there. Uh, I think that the grappling will be interesting because while I think that Gastelum probably has slightly better wrestling, uh, at least when it comes to takedowns, I'd say when it comes to submission ability, Jack Helmansson is more dangerous. I mean, he was close to tapping out Jacare Souza, who was one of the best grapplers in the entire UFC. Uh, so I think this would be a close fight. It would be a tough fight. I'm actually not super happy about it because I like really like both of them and I don't want to see them lose uh, or see one of them lose. But uh, yeah, I, I think that is the fight to make, and I do think Helmansson actually comes out on top there. We saw now, latest, I mean, short notice against Jacare Souza, what he could accomplish. I think uh, it's time, but uh, yeah, we're gonna see the Joker shoot to the top.